guys, so we're doing 12th season for this year. Um, we're doing our lines. I traded for someone else. I will show you. I don't really care about him, so. So we're not going to play our first game. Probably this week. I don't know. Or Monday or something. How about we get Mate Lawn, see if we can or not. So, Merkley, he will be playing first. And then our second good defense turn will be playing with him. And then fucking guy will be playing with Merkley and then this guy will be playing with Jordan and then Willie will be playing with I think this guy can actually do more pushy I think that good. So, Isaac is actually going to the first. Center. Nate will take the second one. Um, Nate and then. Well, Nate and then that Western one. And then second up. How? How will be teaming up again? Okay, I'm jealous. And then on his other side will be self it well. Okay. Third line, first line, third line will be egg. A Tuesday with Corman. Corman. And then one side. Left side will be a new Corman. Yeah, new variable friend. I don't know how he does. But he's very good, so he might go up. Zach. Zach is a good face up. Zach. With. Zach. With these guys. And then we play him with him. So our first game will be this one. We have. First. I. Third, Cinco, whatever, Isaac, Nate, Irvin, Selfit, well, Howe, Cam Hillis, Third will be New One, Peg, Irvin, Stevens, Zach Foley, and him. Stephen, Mateo. And now we get to do the fun part. So the first we will set these lines up in my little small pull thing. We're not doing the franchise. So I can actually do that. And then for goalies, Poppy will be in it. So yeah, that Ducks franchise we will be. So we have Alex From there we have Isaac Waffer And then we have Nate And then we have Cam Hillis. 
me know. Let me know if you want me changing lines. Help me out. You guys can do whatever you want. This will be for first game and a couple of them. And I'm gonna get going put them on the little fetchy. So I know. And then we will honestly search and see how they are playing this year. If we need to make some line changes, some minuses, we will change it. Win, lose, we will change it. Let me know what you think about this song and team. on this line and then for the DDs we have Merkley Merkley will be seen we can keep him if he doesn't do so and then we have Jordan Jordan is that card that can honestly take out are keeping him in the last two lines will be thinking about art we will be thinking about them and seeing if they are thinking about them. Mark really in my heart no on the art and then we have this new guy We have a few. We have a play. And the loyalties are still popping and starting. If Poppy wants to get off, he can. And then we have Davy. And then for the strategy, we have defense. defense you know what Zach should actually go and then we have a white winger so I know what we should do we should trade say I but once we're done with the line Matches, you don't need to play them. Okay, first line. Isaac is going to play. So my first couple players will be doing like Nate will be doing it. Because you can't change the players. They I get half and I will fall. And then we have Merkley. Merkley and that Washington guy. And the first one, and then the second one we have me and Hal. With Cam Hillis. And then Self as well. See how they fight. If you need to trade your and then we have Jordan with Tech. And then from four we will play. I think Tech should get a chance, so Tech will pick one. 
and saying that um, Isaac, Isaac is play. And we are going to give them the power play. So Isaac will pick Nate right there. I think he will pick Nate. Nate is that sort of kind of guy. And tag will pick and then the defense is all Attacker will be um Isaac again and then how and then for the fur on fur So Isaac probably will pick me again. Isaac Ow Bert. And then it will be Mercury on this side Jordan Lily. Lily. That's 
for attacker, we will be Isaac for sure. Isaac and then Mercury. No, not Mercury, but. So PK shootout, it will be. I think we should do Isaac. And I don't believe anyone on this line will go, so we will put me. And then for the third will be Cam South Fit Well. And then for the first line, it will be... Okay. And then for the defense, it So there's our team line. Hopefully we will be good. I will be playing our first game. So yeah, so this is uh, for me. I'm gonna get my phone. And yeah, we have the cut, and then we have also this video. Hi everybody, with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, I'm Mike Emery. Two teams of promising talent from the OHL are ready to play. Eddie, as the players get into position for the opening faceoff, what do you think the fans should know about this one? We've seen some great young talent emerge in this league, and some players have been so good that they were granted yeah, exceptional we status, including game. John Tavares and Aaron Ekblad. Yeah, we do. Faceoff number one gets us underway. No cap. We will do that. And we have just begun. We will, yeah, we do. Lost it, but first got it back. The they score! Yeah, a first one of the game, and it's early. First minute in the game. That's how we're going to play. That's how we're going to play. Thanks, Shitty. Thanks, you guys. Look at Always interesting, guys, after the first goal is scored. Goal. Whether the team that scored is going to continue to attack or whether they'll sit back a little bit. What a goal. Thanks. And in the very the first minute, first it's 1 0. That's the way you start a hockey game, and you love it as the visiting team. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Time of the goal, 18 seconds. A one-timer. Oh, At least he protected his goaltender. The Spitfire skated up on the side. And he sends it back into the opposite corner. Guelph's got it in their own end, hoping for center. And he gains the zone. Let's it go. Got that in the trapper. Can't imagine what's going through the mind of a player who is now on a new team. What are your thoughts, Rick? You always want to get off to a good start in your first game with a new team. There's been so much upset in your life. This is the place you're most focused. Defensive zone win. Windsor's lugging it around in the neutral zone. Has it back deep. Guelph's along the wing at center ice. Routine save. Great take, dangerous area. Quick shot. Routine save. Okay, one sec, boys and girls. Gotta charge my phone.
Thanks for that, guys. Enjoy. There we go. See if I need to update anything. Nope. Let go. But a necessary one. Oh, first thing for him. Carries it on in from center. He throws it there. That one well off target. Oh, how? Look at how. How is it? Right in front. Stole that pass. So back to center ice they come on that offside. Yeah, it works. Pretty easy save for the goaltender as he just handles that. He handles about 100 of those in practice a day. From the face off, and they lock up in a good reach. That's help from the wing. Oh, big rebound here. The Spitfires through the neutral zone, carrying. Hard work here. Really solid job done defensively. That takes some of the pressure off when you can use your stick oh, like that. Not too, Driving not in too. from no man's land. Shot off the iron. Another goal would go a long way to being able to take the foot off the pedal a little bit here, but the game stays close as this puck doesn't go in. A point. Picks it up in his own end. Steals it in the attacking zone. Fires turned away with a stick. The whistle is blown. The net has come off the pegs. They will replace it. Just a remarkably desperate play by the goalkeeper keeps this one out. A little under eight minutes gone in this period. It's a one nothing game. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. Just missed the net with that one. Coach is always told to hit the net. He was trying to be way too fine with that shot, and unfortunately for him, skates away empty-handed. The Spitfires have it along the side at mid-ice. He's got it. Long pass out of the zone on the wing. He's got it. He takes that pass right off the left wing. Has it in his own end. Cut that pass in his own end. Gains the zone. Let's it go. Shot it high. There is an opening there for that pass. Windsor's carrying it up the wing. Perfect passing right through center. Big time move. Save. That one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie said no chance. That's an excellent save. Good job on the draw. Guelph's carrying on through the neutral zone. From the slot of Rister, over the top of the net. Windsor skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Looks ahead to start something. Right to the point. Hangs on to it in the corner. Heaves one. That's a good save in goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. What quickness side to side. Toward the goal now. Oh. Need to get rid of it. Flings it. And a save. 
Well, he got slashed. There'll be a penalty for that. The Spitfires get a minor penalty for slashing. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. Guelph's getting the edge for the first time tonight with a power play. Well, the power play's excited to get out there. Those guys just about scrambled onto the ice as they get their initial chance of this game. Got to clear it here. He got rid of it. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Takes that one an outstanding pass through center ice. Got it in his own end. Starts a breakout by passing ahead of the play. Shoots. Just missed the net. You have to give yourself a chance here. You cannot blow this puck past the net. Why? He's got it. He's got to clear it, though. Cleared back out again, and so the power play unit has to drop back. They're going to have to move the puck a lot more quickly than they have in the past minute here. They haven't got any pucks to the net, so there's no danger. They clear the zone, and so now they can get that line change. Twelfth in their own end and in possession. Shoots it on. Oh, a save there. Puck free. Lost possession there. Gliding and considering behind the net. Still time on this power play, but not much. Gains the zone. The Spitfires killed it off, and so we're back even. This is when coaches get really frustrated. The players are on the ice. They've worked on this power play multiple times at practices, and yet they just don't seem to have any cohesion to get a real good power play on the board. He takes that point pass. Takes a pass in the corner. Wonderful block. Goaltender tender pass. Brought ahead. The clock has bled down to the last minute. One on one. Oh, what a wonderful save from the slot. Windsor's along the wing at center ice. Loose puck, the defense got in the way of it. Cuts that pass off. Intercepts that pass on the attack. Save there. Goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. Okay. And that's one. First period has been played. Only one goal scored. Lots of time left to play. Are you looking for information on the stars of tomorrow or today? Check out page 21 of the program. Welf's goal came on this play. There's at least one locker room that's happy at the end of this period. We'll be right back. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? Windsor spent the last period defending, and that hasn't helped them score. If they can get more possession time, they'll be able to get better chances going forward. First face-off of period two. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Oh, are gone. Breakaway! Good shooting place. Great save. Jostled off the puck. He wheels behind. It is a hooking call on this play. A restraining foul, and the arm of the referee is up. The Spitfire is guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. Welf's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. No matter how often you work on the power play, the ones that struggle go back to the same basic tenets. And it's to simplify things. Get it to the point, shoot it, get traffic, retrieve it, shoot it again. 
Yes, sir. Solid defensive play to break up the rush. Good job, bro. Good job. Good job. That puck is held, and the whistle stops playing. Puck dropped in the log jam, and the winger reached in and got it. Skates it into the zone. They must retreat and start back again. Shot back to the other end, and that means icing. Nice face-off work. Pass up that right wing, and he's got it. And he steps in. Oh, snaps the shot. He scores. Special team, a special goal. at how quick that snapshot got on him. He thought he was in good position, but he left that puck bin open. In it goes. Another goal beaten over the shoulder. Guelph's got their second goal of this game. There may be more. They've been heavily out shooting the opponent. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Points it. Receives that pass from the other side. Nice work with that stick. Knocked it away. A shot. Great block. Couldn't get through. It's loose. Set it wide. They're getting all organized now. Puck leaves the zone, and so play goes back to mid-ice. Shot. Terrific shot, but a denial. Guelph's really taking the air out of the game defensively, Doc. Their goaltender hasn't had much to do. But he stopped the shots that he's had to. And the pass goes back over the blue line, so they have to recoil. Bodied off the puck. The Spitfires in their own end, ready in attack. Back on his stick. He's got that pass and can look ahead. Snaps one. Save. He's got that one. Let's see what happens. Flings it. That shot went badly. Why? Wow, Doc. He was in the slot and shot that well off the target. I don't know how he missed them there. Waits from the corner. There is a slash on that play, and it is going to be called. And we get another penalty. The referee to the scorer's table. Well, we know this, Doc. There are a few penalties on the ice. Let's let the referees make the decision and we can talk about it. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five on three power play, and it begins now. That's a solid face off win. I like their setup on the power play that scored earlier, Doc. Let's see if they can get it set up again. Move the penalty killers around for a couple of good chances. Leads that charge into the zone. Great defensive pull. That one's fired back out, and so more time will go off the penalty clock. Shoots one. The shot is off. From that position on the ice, he's got to hit the net. Make the goalie make a save. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. He had his eye on the puck the whole time. What a stop. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Solid face-off win. Missed the net. Wicked shot there, Doc. Great job by the defenders to kill more time. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. 
Nice pass right up the gun. Free puck off a defender. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Yeah, shot back out. All's fine. Guelph's waiting to get things organized in the defensive zone. Steps in from the neutral zone. Wonderful stop. Brings a shot. Wonderful oh, stop. Score! What a power play these guys have. want your power play to make a mark whether they score or not they have to gain some momentum for your team here they punch through with a power play goal well spilt a three to nothing lead in this game and they've had the puck almost the entire time Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Fires a shot. Save. Play stopped. That puck is just held. Never satisfied. Never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He better be thinking about getting number three. Critical face off win at that point. Pull the trigger wide. And so that one is cleared, and they check the clock and get ready for more. Windsor's penalty kill has survived this one. I'm not so sure that's what the coach had designed when that power play went back out onto the ice. He was pretty happy earlier in the game, but that one there will make a coach go gray in a hurry. Can start the attack going in the zone. Oh, and it's off the mark. Puts one on. They can't find the target. Well, that's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. Puck grab. They've got it ready. Let's it go. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Incredible skill on the attack. Good intercept in his own end. The Spitfires are at the wing in neutral ice. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Cut that pass in his own end. Not able to do that well. Brings a shot. Score! Four unanswered goals. spot in the ice that's the low slot area he's gonna score and so that's a great shot but the goaltender went down into the butterfly opened up the top of the net and he's hoping his glove is gonna bail him out not this time goalie to the bench substitution made well it was pretty clear a little while ago in this game that this was not gonna turn out well he has not had a very good night the coach looks like he's clearly fed up with it and while the team has played very poorly the number one way to change the game is to take your goalie out. And they won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Oh, great cut! And a slashing penalty is forthcoming. Guelph's got two minutes on their penalty total, and this one's for slashing. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. Oh, Jordan. The Spitfires have practiced the power play feverishly this week. Let's see if it pays off. Solid, clean win. Welch on the move in their own end. Is able to move on in. Let's it go. What a shot, and he got his glove on it. Windsor's been blown out almost from the very beginning of this game. Their effort has been poor. 
Their commitment to defense has been poor. They haven't driven the net. It's just been one of those terrible nights. With a shot. Terrific glove save. I'd like to say that the shooter was shooting for a rebound. At least I hope he was, because that shot had no chance of going in. Under six minutes remaining in the period. With that goal, the lead becomes more impressive. It's up to four. A slot wrister handled with the stick. Free puck off a defender. He regathered it. Wonderful play by the defense. Crosses that line. Got it at the point. Let's it go. That one's deflected. Guelph's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Let's it go. Wonderful save. This one being contested on the board. Guelph's in their own end, moving the puck. Gains that offensive line. Got his pad on that one. Fires, and yet another save. How does he do that? He was in control on both of those saves. Guelph's gotten us back even. They've killed the penalty. The power play was completely outworked there by the penalty killers. The killers had the scoring chances in that last penalty time. They were the more dangerous of the groups. One-time blast. Lifts the stick and robs it. <laughs> Twist one. Terrific glove save, but it's loose. Windsor's getting to the neutral zone. Takes that pass. He is slashed, and there'll be a penalty for that. Stays along the boards. Goalie to the bench on the delayed call. Extra man is out. Sails it. That's terrific work with the pad. Guelph's minor penalty is for slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. The Spitfire's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry, you get the puck to the point, you shoot it, you move the penalty killers around. Let's see if they can do it this time. Using the point. Quick wrist shot. A wonderful scoring chance denied. In with it now. He cut that one off at the defensive end. That's a bad turnover, Doc. When you're ahead, that puck has to be moved into a safe area of the ice 100% of the time. Got to ice it here. And he steps across the line. What Trying goal. for it. Scores! While short-handed. The first job of a penalty killer is make sure you don't get scored on. This is an extra bit of gravy here as they get a shorthanded goal. Welsh just continuing to hammer away on the shot board, enormous, and the score is large. They've got the draw. Steps across that line. Assisted by six. Players tired, about to get a rest, but still seconds to play in this period. Ah, that's a good quick poke check there. Nicely received at the point. Seemed like a great opportunity. Boy, this puck had a lot of steam on it, but unfortunately he turned his hands over, and that's what caused the puck to miss the net badly. 36 showing on the clock, and it's moving. Rister from the slot. Turned away with the stick. Corrals it. Got his pad on that one. 
Brings it in for an attack. Feeds the point. Gets that one on a cross. The Spitfires needed something from their power play and didn't get it. You wait for a power play like that, and the coaches are thinking that they've got the right scheme and the right people on the ice. It looked like they threw five strangers out there that time. Two periods have been played, and so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. When your team wins, you win $10 off and bombs. Wealth's Netminder has fashioned a goose egg on the opposition side of the scoreboard. At the end of this period, we are still thinking about the last huge save, which was this one, right back after this. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? The Spitfires can't keep turning over the puck. They're trailing in this game and need to find a way to simplify their approach in order to be... ...successful with their attack. Carries it on in from center. Stole that pass away in his own end. Let's it go. Great chance, but he missed. You don't get to shoot the puck very often from that spot on the ice. You have to hit the net and challenge the goaltender. Brings a shot. Point blank save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Perfect wrister. Just over the top. right on his stick from the right side. Good job, he rubbed him right out. That's one way to change your momentum in a hockey game. Intercepted that one at an important place. Got it right back. Gives it over to the point. Takes a shot. No! Good defensive play. Loose puck, though. He is hooked. He kind of shook it off and continues to play. There'll be a penalty. Goalie to the bench. Arms still in the air. Substitution made. Windsor's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. Well, what he was trying to do is trying to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. You can just see the confidence when a team is lightning-like on the power play, and this one is. They get another chance beginning now. Another face-off win. A great day for him. A chance to clear. Driving in from no man's land. And it's a good pickup. Good job with the poke check. The Spitfires want to generate something up the wing. Good, solid defense there. And the pickup. Guelph's in control of the puck up the wing. Pass to the slot. Pad save. Ooh, tough one there. Stays on side to the middle. Must get it out. It's an onside play. A howitzer lightning in that glove. Has that point pass as well. Slides it to the point. Puck picked up here. Recollected. That puck is loose. A good defensive play. 
The Spitfires penalty kill is over. Pretty good tonight. Well, they had some success earlier in the game, guys. The power play there wasn't very good. They had a little bit of trouble getting into the zone, certainly trouble getting pots to the front of the net. Guelph's in possession now as they move up the wing. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Regathers it. Stick to some. Guelph's continuing to probe up the wing. He recollects it. Oh, a close call there. Coach is always told to hit the net. He was trying to be way too fine with that shot, and unfortunately for him, skates away empty-handed. Keeps it in the zone with that interception. Strong wrister. Guelph's in possession as they travel up the wing. Here he comes. He scores! Like he was guessing a little bit there, Enzo, as he drops into the butterfly position. Not enough of the net cover. Guelph's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Windsor's looking to head man up the wing. Shoots one. Had flashed out to turn that aside. A one-timer, and on top of that, another great stop. How many stops can one goaltender make? Collected in the corner. Centering pass. Bad save. He could start some danger here. Just missed the net. When the puck sounds hard, when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. Scoring chances handed away. Down to rinkside we go yet again. Ray, what do you know? The ability to get open is the key to the one-timer. He's been doing it all night, but the goaltender's been too sharp till eventually it leads to one. He is fun to watch, isn't he, Ray? We'll do more of that now. Under nine minutes remaining here in the third. When your car gets beyond four tires, I guess you can take a blowout. I don't know if we can take this one much longer. Strong defensive play. Loose puck did not go very well there. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. That shot came from nowhere. The goaltender shuts that one down in a superb opportunity. Makes that play deep. Wolves played so well defensively tonight. Their goaltender has been excellent. And while some people think it's bad luck to mention a shutout, well, they're trying to protect one. And I'm not going to affect it sitting in the middle of a video game. Gets in, looks over his options here. Didn't miss by much. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Great chance here, two on one. Guelph's moving the puck up the wing. Great job on a cut pass. That's a really dangerous area with the puck, and he turned it over. Now the opponent has a short ice to attack. That puck has to go forward into a safe area 100% of the time. Shrug that right off. The Spitfires are skating it up at neutral ice. Rister, great stick there. And a save. And he picks it up. Maybe can change the tide at center ice. He gains the zone. A shot. The pad came in handy that time. Takes his pass from the goalie. 
Oh, here's a wrister. Terrific save. Right near the line, can he keep it going? Off a of body. Boy, he got slashed. There'll be a penalty for that. Goalie reaches the bench. Extra man out. And he steps across the line. Let's it go. A wonderful shot answered quickly. You got to think that's a game-changing save there. The Spitfires are boxed for two minutes. The call is slashing. Oh, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Any time that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. You can just see the confidence when a team is lightning-like on the power play, and this one is. They get another chance beginning now. Windsor's in possession as they travel in the defensive zone. And the net comes loose, so play is halt. Now, the only question here is going to be where they're going to put the face off. Will it be inside the zone or outside the zone? That'll depend on what the officials determine was the reason the net came off the boards. Terrific face off win, and that's one of many. Got that one ahead at center ice. Recollects it. Shoots one. Final minute of the third. There will be a lot of joy in one locker room and some real searching in the other. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Can he make him chase it? The Spitfires are driving it from the wing. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. He loads it up. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. Bumped, loses it. Gains the zone. Picks it up back there. Guelph's lugging it up the wing. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. Through the neutral zone. Sends to the point. Took that away in his own zone. Point blast! And that's this one. And the buzzer sounds. This was surgical. You need good hands, Doc, to be a surgeon. They had good hands all night long. So ends another game and another telecast. We hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.
Hi, everyone. He's Eddie Olchek. Ray Ferraro will be coming along in just a moment. And I'm Mike Emmerich, and here we are again. It's back-to-back -back games, and so there hasn't been much time to rest. As a coach, how do you manage it? Well, it's very important that you use all four lines. You use your complement of six defensemen. I think it's also up to the players as well, Doc, to have short shifts. You can't get caught out there for a minute and a half or two minutes. you got to make sure you have discipline in your game, but that'll be a real key in the outcome of this game. Guelph is a veteran club. They have been in these situations before many a times. There are no excuses. Everybody's got back-to-backs on their schedule. These second games and back-to-backs are difficult, but you got to gut it out and find a way to win this game. Let's look at the starting netminders. Incredibly strong performance with a shutout last time. So he gets the chance to keep that streak going. This man's been working in practice on wraparounds. Just a part of what a goalie might face in a night. He's in for the visitors. And the opening faceoff is here. Just underway with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. I'm Mike Emery. Long pass out of the zone on the wing. He's got it. He's got it on his stick. Perfect off that left wing. Let's it go. A tremendous glove save. Score! It's a one of the game, and the traveling team strikes first. up on the bench beside me pretty quickly here very excited on the one side to have the game's first goal and in the very first minute it's one nothing that's the way you start a hockey game and you love it as a visiting team face off and a solid tie up and help arrive good job 56 seconds gives it to the point Drives it. Guelph skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. One of the rare breaks in hockey is a call for icing. Clean win on the draw. Guelph's along the wing at center ice. Waits from the corner. Huck ends up out of the zone, so they must recoil. Scooped up. Takes that pass up the boards. Whistle is blown. Penalty called. And the penalty box door swings open. Guelph's got a two-minute slashing penalty. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. Sudbury's power play is activated for the first time tonight. Always important to win the special teams battle, or at the very least, come out even. Guelph's carrying on through the neutral zone. Good place to shoot from, and he does. The offense was strong, but the pad had the answer. Wonderful save. The Wolves need to acknowledge their goaltender after one of the better saves you will ever see. Somebody get this guy a steak. that face off from the tie up the help came good defensive play hand to eye and center ice blocked away driving in from no man's land popped loose because of that hit a shot that shot came from right in front that is a great display of goaltending there doc whistle blown power play is history the Wolves are getting a minor here, and the call is slashing. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. 
The squads are even. Four players aside. And the faceoff. The open ice leads to some great scoring chances four on four. You get a defenseman into the rush. If you don't score, the other team's guaranteed a two on one going back the other way. Wonderful save. It didn't look like he had a thing to shoot at. Well, it looks like the shooter's just trying to get this puck on net. Routine stop for the goaltender. Not much challenge. A little over four minutes gone. The Wolves lead 1-0. Good setup off the win. A howitzer. Oh, what a chance. What a save. Goalie's looking around the screen to try to find the puck. A shooter might want to check his stick. If that's all that he's got in the arsenal, it's not going to score very often. a solid face-off win. Just wide with the shot. Skates it into the zone. Right to the point. Hatchet's one. He scores! The goaltender had no chance on that slap shot. The video will reveal here that the goaltender was in excellent position. Sometimes the shot is just so perfect, it's unstoppable. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. By number Strong three. wrister. Can't get it on net. From that position on the ice, he's got to hit the net. Make the goalie make a save. The Wolves have accrued a penalty. It's a minor for slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. Guelph's power play. Gets its first chance in this game tonight. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net, crowd the net for rebound. The Wolves shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Guelph gliding in the neutral zone. Let's it go. A good stick stop. Got it back out of the zone. Picks it up in his own end. Crosses that line. Shoots. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. He throws it there. Just missed the net. Well, that's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. Has that measured? Sudbury's forced another turnover in this very close game. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. The Wolves get a two-minute penalty for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. A two-man advantage. A terrific opportunity ahead. You're right, Doc, this is a big advantage here. A five on three on the power play. It's what you have to capitalize on. Let's it go. And a save. Taking attack here. Shoots. Save with the pad. They've got all the gunners out. To the front. Ranks a shot. And he missed it. Pretty tough to score on a grade A chance if you don't hit the net. That's being too fine with the puck. He's got to hit the net from there. Free puck off a defender. Let's it go. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. They can't find the target. Threatening an attack. And a slashing penalty is forthcoming. Whistle is blown. And a man with 
guilt all over his face is going to the bottles. Guelph's minor penalty is for slashing. Oh, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Any time that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. Everybody has a man and an assignment. Four against four. Man, I love four on four. One guy makes a little stumble or a half a mistake, and all of a sudden you've got scoring chances all over the place. A little pass from his goalie here. Guelph's got possession in the defensive zone. Carries it on in from center. Shoots one. Flings it. Great glove save, and he keeps it. A little over seven minutes have been played here in the first. The Wolves with the lead, 2-0. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. Things are heating up with that hit. Well, we expected a physical game. Do Score! They're back to within one. you shoot it but it's the release that counts and he snaps it home you're supposed to take advantage of your opportunities and he did there he didn't take much time with the puck on his stick and it's right up in the roof and so the lead has been sawed in half here not a great start but the finish is most important they back in this hockey game the wolves with a win at center Sudbury's along the wing at center ice. And he dumps it in. Gives it over to the point. And he picks it up. Guelph's in the neutral zone along the wing. Around through the corner. Nudged along by the skate. Some contact there, and the puck is loose. In with it now. Fires. Score! A goal on the power play. You can keep the puck to the outside, but at some point, you got to get the puck to the middle of the ice. That's what they do, and they're rewarded with a power play goal. That uh, doesn't even have to touch the back of the net to be a goal. The goalie thought he had that. However, it trickled right by him into the net. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Leads that charge into the zone. By number 74 and by number 27. Recollects it. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Solid win of the draw. Not on the net. I know that shot just missed the net, but that thing was moving. Muscled right off it. The Wolves have it along the side at mid ice. Puck fired down. Decision made. Defenders first. Icing. Nice face-off work. Guelph setting up an offense from the wing. Shoots one. Got that in the trapper. Holds on and gets that whistle. It's dropped. They lock up, and that's a good job by the winger is able to move on in from the outside well done with that pass 
right on his tape. What a long outlet pass. Cut off that pass. The Wolves have forced another turnover, Doc. They've done a real nice job in that category in this close game. Brings a shot. Score! And it's a one-goal game. What a quick release on that snapshot. No way he's going to miss from the low slot. And so when we played and the goalies used to stand up, that was the easiest spot to beat them. Low stick side. Even with the butterfly, it's still a really good shot. Clean beat there. Well scored a goal. That brings them to within one. And we are near the end of the first period. Well from the faceoff, and they lock up in a good reach. That's help from the wing. 44 seconds. Around through the corner right now. Gets it in the corner. Somehow, this one's going to come free. Guelph's recoiling back in the defensive zone. A good cut of the pass that can keep the pressure on. Good job, he rubbed him right out. That's one way to change the momentum in a hockey game. Gains that offensive line. A shot! Score! And this one is tied! You want to pin the lead down. You want to give yourself the opportunity to spread the lead out. But they don't. They give up the time goal. And now we're back to even. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Lawful boarding. Goes back deep for it. Steps in from the neutral zone. Regathers it. Tremendous job done defensively there with a poke check. He imposed his will. Great poke check there. Got it right back. Rister. Puck ricocheted off the screen. And they are in. And the puck goes back out to center ice, and so everything will have to get reset. Stole that pass away in his own end. Steps across that line. Shoots one. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Fires. Swept aside. Cleared it out of there. It's on his stick up that left side. And the whistle signals an offside. A little under three minutes remaining. Six goals in this game so far, divided in half. Couldn't make it through, can't retain possession. Continuing now along the boards. That one's out of play into the bench here. The Wolves prevail on the draw. Guelph's recoiling back in their own end. Brings it in for an attack. He gets it back. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. Great opportunity. Better stop. Cut that pass in his own end. The clock has bled down to the last minute. One minute left. He will the clock loose now picked up. Let's a shot fly and a save. The Wolves are at the wing in neutral ice. To Samarukov.
first period has come to a close. The warm-up is there for a reason. You give the shooters confidence, especially if you're the backup goalie. Well, the starters gave them some confidence, too. My goodness, 3-3 three, three after one. You want the assurance of knowing you have a ticket to all the big games? Guelph's goal, this goal, got this game tied again. What will happen next? We'll see when we return right after this. period is underway. If you like pitchers' battles rather than home run derbies, perhaps you uh, sneered at the first period, but it can always change. This and the third period are still ahead. Good faceoff win. Fires! That's terrific goaltending. That was a good challenge, better stop. Just inside the line. Wonderful save. Great block, and yet another save. How does he do that? The Wolves with a neutral zone possession along the wing. Shoots one, stood his ground and caught a block shot. Icing canceled because of all that work. Outstanding body contact. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. It's dumped in. Has it in his own end. A big, big hit. Oh, when he's playing like that, he is effective. Guelph's carrying it in the defensive zone. When fired down, the defense will win. The race and icing is called. Sometimes the game goes so fast that nobody's in position to deliver a hit. That was a thumping hit, a really clean play. Defensive zone win. to the slot. Guelph's moving the puck in their own end. Cuts off that pass in the attacking zone. Shot nearly grazed the iron on that. He was hoping for a little bit more with that chance, but his shot is just off the target. Got to clear it. Very entertaining evening of hockey here. We have had all kinds of chances and goals. The defense seems to take a little break. Maybe they'll show up for the last half of the game. Shoots it on. Outstanding save. And he holds on, and the whistle stops play. They won that draw. Here he comes. What a terrific save. The Wolves are driving it from the wing. Important interception there. Can start the attack going in the zone. Score! He got iron with that shot. been a number of close chances here at either end as this continued tie game strung out. Now they've got the lead. We'll see where it takes us now. Welsh's been dominating play. They didn't have a lot to show for it, but they've now broken the top. And they've won the faceoff. That move not too slick there. Seven minutes, 29 seconds. 
Back on his stick. Missed it high. Well, it's never a bad play to get the puck to the net, but this puck comes from a long way out and misses the top of the net. Good pass, and he looks ahead from the right wing. Bodied off. Pitched right ahead through center. Nicely into the zone. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Loose pocket went off somewhere. Gains the zone. The Wolves recoiling back in their own end. Intercepts that pass on the attack. Quick shot. Save. Sudbury's goaltender has been outstanding. They're lucky they're still in the game as this is still close. Over nine minutes still showing on the clock this period. We've got a leader in this game now. Maybe it'll be tied up again, though. The Wolves skated up on the side. Picks it up back there. Drives down the wing at center. Gotten quickly back. Outstanding save with a glove. They win the draw. What next? Solid defensive play. Not a free puck now. The Wolves are skating it up in neutral ice. Nicely received at the point. What a ripper from the point. A point hammer shot. Back at the point now. Heading down low. Recollected. by the defense. Got it in his own end. Guelph's in control as they travel up the wing. In the slot. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. He's locked in now. Great save. This is frustrating. The goaltender makes a save by getting just a chunk of the shot. Good face-off win. He knew what was coming, and he got right in its path. Can he generate something? Wide with the shot! That was a decent chance, but he just missed the net. Locker it away. They've got all the gunners out. Tosses it. Gets it with the blocker. He could start some danger here. Looks to make a play. Oh, what a save. He brought his best shot, and it got stopped. A little under four minutes on the clock in the second. Once we were tied. Maybe we'll be tied again. And he fires. He created a screen, but he blocked the shot. Shoots one. That puck struck him in front. Flipped it toward open area. A great speed bump set up there. What a collision. Threatening an attack to the half wall. Presses that attack. Oh, a close call there. Well, that's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. Welsh got two on this one for tripping. Well, I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. They've already had some success on the power play with a power play goal earlier in the game. They don't have to change much. Make sure you move the puck quickly and get traffic to the front of the net. On the outside, a shot. 
Couldn't retain possession. Couldn't get it out. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Oh, snaps the shot! Terrific left save. Oh, and he has closed off emphatically. The fans along the glass gotta love that hit. What a play! He stole it! Sudbury's looking to head man up the wing. He's got it, but has to get rid of it. Into the last minute of the second period. Let's it go! Score! A short-handed goal! Short-handed goals are like a strike of lightning. You just don't expect them. When they come, they can be devastating. Guelph's goal has given them a two-goal lead now, and there's still a lot of time left in the game. We're still in the second period. Well, Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. By number 14, and by number 12. Good score! Another shorthanded goal. He looked like he was sniffing around for a break. Maybe he could get one shorthanded. He gets a chance, and he capitalizes. Guelph's getting a larger and larger lead as the second period gets shorter and shorter, and a full third period and a chance to enlarge. Neutral zone face-off one. Possession established here. Shoots! They can't find the target. We sometimes forget the speeds these guys are playing at, but accuracy is a key in creating chances. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Stands him up. And he dumps it in. Guelph's recoiling in the defensive zone. Big drive! Outstanding save off a chance. Two periods have been played. And so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. When the home team wins, you win $10 off at Rob's. When the home team wins, bring your tickets to any Rob's Sporting Goods for a coupon good for $10 off your next purchase. The Wolves are suffering on the goaltender. For him, there are great days, there are average days, and then there's today. More in a moment. minutes have been played they are getting ready for the third period here so take us back through the game what do you think Eddie Sudbury's down doc after two periods of play it's going to be really difficult for them to get back in this game if they don't clean up their turnovers it is the third period final period of regulation time we have started wonderful stop shoots score he's got his second Shot off the backhand is a little cheeky, and it's got the goalie beat. Low blocker is always a good place to shoot. This shot is perfect. Beats him on the blocker side, just above the pad. Guelph's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. His team is ahead in this game, and he's doing a wonderful job in the face-off circle springing. And a save. the line 
Lost it, but got it back. Couldn't get through there. Nice work with that stick. Knocked it away. Gains the zone. Guelph's in control of the puck through center. Didn't get a thing of that. Back on his stick. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Play is halted, and we have yet another penalty call. Guelph's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. A power play that can generate goals is special, and this one has been. Let's see if it continues. Good job on the draw. Guelph's in possession in their own end. Slides it to the point. Taken away. Slot shot. Big point blank save there. That was a tougher stop than a look. Guelph's winging it at neutral ice. Takes a shot. Wow, what a glove save. Let's it go. He missed the net. The goalie's lucky that just sailed wide. He got all of that one. Good standing poke check. Corralled it again. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. The Wolves are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Four players aside, and so we'll see what develops here. Man, I love four on four. One guy makes a little stumble or a half of a mistake, and all of a sudden you've got scoring chances all over the place. The Wolves have it at center ice. Puck out of the zone, and the attackers regroup. Into the attacking end. A shot. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Intercepts that pass. Maybe he can generate something. Great job on a cut pass. Gets it in a good place. Rister from the slot. Nice save with the glove. Play stopped. That puck is just held. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Solid, clean win. And it's a good pickup. The Wolves with possession up the wing. Defensive Jim with the stick. Fires just missed the net. You know what, Doc? I could see why he missed the net. There was nothing there. He tried to be too fine. Corrals it. A gong shot there. They hit him right in the head. Pass cut. Fires off the mark with the shot. Terrific opportunity, though. Trying to kill more penalty time. He moves that one ahead through center. Let's it go, and he missed the net. Shoots one, shot blocked. A textbook stick save. The Wolves have done a tremendous job in killing off penalties tonight. Now they just have to try and get some offense going. They can't go to the well so many times. You're asking your penalty killers to bail you out time and time again. They and the goaltender have done outstanding work so far. Close in play. Takes that pass that was just slipped ahead to him. Not a hard hit, but effective. It's lost. Takes that right wing pass perfectly. Broke that play up at center. He chipped that one off the boards and ahead. Shoot. Around through the corner. That puck's loose, mishandled. The roadblock helped. 
starts a breakout by passing ahead of the play. Shoots. Oh, big rebound here. And on top of that, another great stop. And another stop. Never satisfied. Never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He'd better be thinking about getting number three. Under nine minutes have gone by here in the third. The lead becomes bigger. It's now four goals. From the slot wrister. Just couldn't find the target. Sometimes you rush the shot and end up missing the net. Need to slow things down next time. Pass comes to him from the crease. I'm not so sure any of the coaches want this game to be played like it is, but there is no slowing the scoring down. There's been great goals, bad goals, and a few in between. Good place to shoot from. Save there. He's done it again. That's another victory at the faceoff circle. The Wolves with possession in the neutral zone. It's dumped in. Has it back deep. He gains the zone. Propelled to Samarukov. A shot. They score. They hope to make a change with that one. He gets in close to the net and fires it past the goaltender with a snapshot. The butterflies become a default position for the goaltender, Edzo. And while the shot is nice, he's down in that butterfly position way too quickly. The draw the tie up, and his team prevails. One of the great things about this sport is watching two big guys collide. Oh, I felt that hit, but heard it as well. Around through the corner. That one is pointed to him. Good grab again. Right next to the line. Makes that play deep. The Wolves with possession in the defensive zone. Driving down the wing at center. Quickly off the stick. Nice stand up poke check there. The Wolves carrying on in their own end. And he steps in. He banks a pass ahead. Driving in from no man's land. Taken over again. Huge hit. Possession's gone. Tried, but it didn't work. The pad flashed out to turn that aside. Looks ahead to start something. Moves behind the net. Let's it go. He wore that puck on a hard shot. The Wolves with control at center ice. Final minute of the third. There will be no overtime here tonight. Good defensive read with that one. You're probably best not to make that type of play even though you're trailing by a goal. Still make the right reads. Be aggressive when you can be aggressive. Sudbury's in possession as they move up the wing. And he dumps it in. Sends to the point. Takes that pass off the boards. Gains the blue line. Fires a shot. Nearly grazed the iron on that. When the puck sounds hard when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. 
Scoring chances handed away. Cut down on that rush. Fires! You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. And he steps across the line. And that's this one. It was a big score of victory and a decisive amount of time that the winners had the puck. Coaching staff has to be extremely pleased with the energy and effort that their team played with. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.
Greetings, everyone, with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and we have a team tonight that is coming off a win. Probably feel pretty good about themselves. What do you tell them? Well, you tell them, let's play the same way we did in the prior game, Doc. They did everything that they wanted to get accomplished. They managed the puck extremely well. They got timely goals. They played really well without the puck in their own zone. And let's worry about what we can do, not necessarily what the other team's strengths are. Guelph's got to stick to the game plan here tonight, Doc. They played a real good team game in their prior win. And one of the reasons for that, they had great communication both on and off the ice. Let's see if that continues here tonight. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. This will be his first start of the season. And, of course, getting a chance to start things positively with victory number one. Coaching staff has faith here. He can get better in this one after losing the last one. And they are ready for the opening face off, and so are we. Guelph's got the puck, and they get to make the first play. Oh, snaps the shot! Save! Looks ahead to start something. It's dumped in. Guelph's in their own end and in possession. Puck loose, just a speed bump off the defense. Turn the shot on net. The pad flashed out to turn that aside. Owen sounds up the wing, settling things. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. Bodied off. And a slashing penalty is forthcoming. Goalie to the bench, arm still in the air, substitution made. Suzuki's penalized two minutes for slashing. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. Guelph special teams practice is focused on the power play. Let's see if it pays off. This is a power play earned in a scoreless game. Their power play can now get them on the board and give them a lead. That one's fired back out, and so more time will go off the penalty clock. He gets that pass ahead in stride. Loose puck did not go very well there. Through the corner. Good shooting place. Oh, he got that. And on top. Score! A power play goal. And it's a biggie. Just score one, try and get another. Push them back on their heels. They've got one, go get two. Guelph's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Use that big goalie stick well. Very important steal for him. Back on his stick. Cut off that pass at center ice. Loose puck. Good defensive denial. Goaltender pass. Brought ahead. Can start the attack going in the zone. They score! Snapshot is between a slap shot and a wrist shot, and that is textbook snapshot hockey. He finds the back of the net. Man, he played that funny. He didn't even get his stick over into position to help with the stop. He might as well not have one.
Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Got that pass in his own end. And it's a good pickup. One on one. He used his stick like a magic wand and that breakaway is shut down. Just a bit under six minutes played in the first. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Owen sounds in possession now as they move up the wing. Oh, what a hit that one was. Well, we expected a physical game, Doc, and it looks like he's on a mission trying to set the tone for his team early in the first period. Great opportunity denied. Snaps one. Oh, and it's off the mark. When the puck sounds hard, when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. Scoring chances handed away. Carries it on in from center. Just missed the net. Here's one of those times where you look at the net and there's nothing there. That's where you just got to shoot for the center of the net. And they've got it again. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Solid defensive play. There is a slash on that play, and it is going to be called. Guelph's got a two-minute minor for slashing. Oh, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Any time that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. Owen Sound's power play unit makes its debut tonight. Well, the power play's excited to get out there. Those guys just about scrambled onto the ice as they get their initial chance of this game. Steals it in the attacking zone. Strong wrister. He shot it wide. Good chance. Not a good shot. Took that away in his own zone. That's a bad turnover, Doc. When you're ahead, that puck has to be moved into a safe area of the ice 100% of the time. Owen Sounds driving from the neutral zone. In the slot. What a ripper from the point. Boy, he got slashed. There'll be a penalty for that. Penalty call. They've shot down their own power play. Owen Sounds got a two-minute slashing penalty. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. Following the last entry on the penalty sheet, it is four aside. They've already had some success on the power play with a power play goal earlier in the game. They don't have to change much. Make sure you move the puck quickly and get traffic to the front of the net. Hard work to get down and cancel that icing. Takes it right back. Has it in his own end. Did not get anything up. Guelph's in the neutral zone along the wing. Shoots. He had it past the goalie, but not past the iron. This will make you sick to your stomach. It beat the goaltender, but not the crossbar. The tie-up, he needed help, and he got it. Nice work done with the stick there. Pitching this one to Suzuki. Taken over again. Guelph's along the wing at center ice. From the slaughter wrister, got that tremendous scoring chance. Right along the blue line. Shoots one. And a save. Presses that attack. Oh, a close call there. That was a dangerous chance, but unfortunately, we don't use soccer nets in hockey. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. Guelph skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. 
Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Guelph's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. I'm not so sure that's what the coach had designed when that power play went back out onto the ice. He was pretty happy earlier in the game, but that one there will make a coach go gray in a hurry. Owen Sound sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. Clean win on the draw. Who got in the way of that one? His own guy did. Let's it go. A wonderful shot answered quickly. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. It's out of the zone. They must retreat and start back again. Driving in from no man's land. He gets it back. Is able to step behind the cage. Fires. Can't get it on net. Coach is always told, hit the net. He was trying to be way too fine with that shot. And unfortunately for him, skates away empty-handed. Around through the corner. Loose puck did not go back. There is an opening there for that pass. Quick shot. Save. Owen Sound's controlling play through center ice. And he dumps it in. Full steam up the wing. A howitzer. Score! You can keep the puck to the outside, but at some point, you got to get the puck to the middle of the ice. That's what they do, and they're rewarded with a power play goal. That's a really good shot that beats the goaltender, but when the goalie goes into that butterfly, he's doing one of two things. He's either guessing, or he thinks he's got the entire net covered. He doesn't have it there. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. By number 13, and by number 10, onside. Mercury. Time of the goal. 13 minutes, 25 minutes. That one is pointed to him. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Shot. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Takes that pass at center ice. Through the corner now. They keep working hard on the boards. Guelph slugged it back into their own end. Gains the zone. Muscled right off it. Shoots one. Got a piece of that one. Has it back deep. Shoots. Wow, what a glove save. He covers and holds on. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. A little under three minutes to go in the period. With the scoring of that goal, the lead now goes to three. Can they make it four? Critical win where they need it. Rides the line. Oh, and he misses. He doesn't need to be that fine with the shot from that area on the ice. Have to get it on the net. He corrals it again. Guelph setting up an offense from the wing. Good defensive read with that one. That's a really dangerous area with the puck, and he turned it over. Now the opponent has a short ice to attack. That puck has to go forward into a safe area 100% of the time. Nice work with that stick. Knocked it away. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. 
Smart recovery by Bork. Owen Sounds moving the puck up the wing. Extra man over the boards on this delayed penalty call. Save there. Guelph's been assessed a minor penalty. Two minutes, and the call is tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carrier here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. Let's it go. First period has come to a close. There was offense, but only on one side. Don't forget to check out tonight's game highlights, post-game analysis, player interviews, and vlogs on our team website. New content is added daily. Owen Sound's goaltender has had one of those nights, and so this score is lopsided, and we will return after he gets a rest and these words. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? Well, sub by a few, Doc, but I would have to think their coaching staff would want them to continue to play the way they did in that first period and continue where they left off offensively in that first period. Underway here in the period, still on the power play. They make a play from the corner. Let's it go. Outstanding save. Oh, they had a great chance. Guelph's really taken the air out of the game defensively, Doc. Their goaltender hasn't had much to do, but he stopped the shots that he's had to. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Defensive zone win. He takes that one right ahead. Good pass. Fires a shot. Window was open. He missed the curtain. Gotten quickly back. Shoots. That's terrific goaltending. That was a tougher stop than a look. Intercepted that one at an important place. to the neutral zone, and so everybody has to get reset. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. Steps across that line. Got that pass in his own end. Slides it to the point. That puck is free. Went off somebody. Takes a shot. No! Some guys try to overpower the goaltender when they get the opportunity, but if you don't hit the net, doesn't matter how hard you shoot it. Breakaway chance! Oh, what a save on a marquee name there! Guelph killed it off, and we're back even. Frustrating for them on the bench because the power play did everything they could, but finally find a way to get one past the goaltender. Has that pass off the boards. Grabs that pass in the offensive zone. Shoots wide with a shot. In with it now. A slot wrister off the mark with the shot. Terrific opportunity, though. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Wow, way wide. Got to do something with it, and now couldn't make it through. Can't retain possession. Tries to get it on net, and a save. 
Goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. Just couldn't find the target. That's a great scoring chance, but he just missed. He'll be looking to get the next one. Read that play in his own end. Well, he just turned that puck over, guys, and that puck has to go forward 100% of the time when you're on the lead. Cut that pass in his own end. Is able to move on in. Fired one and it got the post. Attack zone possession here. Score! Four in a row. thinking about taking a wrist shot it's all about weight transfer transferring your weight from your back foot to your front foot when you're shooting that puck that's exactly what happened there he doesn't even move once he drops into the butterfly you're certain he's got the net covered he just doesn't Welch just continuing to hammer away on the shot board. Enormous, and the score is large. From the faceoff, and they lock up in a good reach. That's help from the wing. Welch's on the move in the defensive zone. Flings it. Great glove save. Play continues. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. It's been a long time since this wasn't the garden variety stop for a goalie. Down in the butterfly, turned aside. Just over eight minutes play. Momentum has shifted in this game. Another goal, and the advantage is four. Off that face-off from the tie-up, the help came. Owen sounds along the wing at center ice. Moving along in the defensive zone. What a terrific opportunity. Outstanding play by the defense. Shoots it off. That puck was obstructed by a screen. He just flat out missed it. Trying to go to Bork. Owen Sound's effort tonight has been pretty abysmal. Their commitment to defense has been awful. They haven't been on the body. They've been pushed all over the ice. Let's it go. Great save. And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing. Good job on the draw. Guelph's winging it at neutral ice. A shot. He scores! Can't stop in that puck with a quick release. I think if the goaltender's a little more patient here, Eddie, stays up on his feet, he's going to be able to make the save. But when he drops into the butterfly, that opens up that top glove hole. Guelph's got an enormous lead, and it's in the second period. Hopefully, they don't go daydreaming now. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Dimitri Simorov. He's got that point pass. Quickly off the stick. 56 seconds. Intercepted by Borg. Stood up there. Takes it in from the neutral zone. He scores! at all. He fired home that wrist shot. 
This shot is well delivered, quick off the stick, but the goaltender's got to do a better job shutting down the top block. Guelph's got a large lead in this game. Let's see if they can build on it or whether they'll start to get conservative. Up drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. Got it in his own end. Fired that pass on ahead. Biggest chance of the game. Shot. Oh, and what magic did he pull out there? That was outstanding. Under seven minutes to be skated, second period. The ice is not only tilted, if they opened the end doors, the players would go tumbling through them into the hallway. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Couldn't do what he wanted. Looking from the corner. Breakout pass into empty ice. Has it picked up. Owen sounds in control of the puck up the wing. Thrown to the slot. Great job in his own end with that interception. Welsh looking to head man up the wing. Shot on. Waffle boarded. And yet another save. How does he do that? Turned on net. Great stick save. As soon as the shooter drops his head to release the puck, he's already in the butterfly, and so he can turn that aside easily. Solid clean win. Back in his defensive end to get it. The goalie gets to the bench. Still, there's time on this delayed call. Great save in close. His perfect positioning allowed him to shut down that chance. Guelph's coaching staff is going to have to adjust. A game misconduct has been handed out. play is all about adjustments. They need to find a way to get more people and pucks to the net. Eddie, I'm with you on that. Oh, man, he's got to learn to stay out of the penalty box. You're not going to be in the league long if you continue to take penalties. Kane's that offensive line. Great defensive play with the stick. Puck's loose, denied by the roadblock. Owen Sounds got it between the blue lines. Shoot! Hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Guelph's got it in the defensive zone.
the power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Skates it into the zone. Really good cut of the pass. Oh, I can see what he's trying to do there, guys. He wants to make a play to try and turn this game back around. They're trailing, but he forces the puck in, and he turns it over. Passes into unhindered terrain. Shoots, and a save. Guelph's in possession as they travel through the neutral zone. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. They've got a two-on-one. Right in front. Nice stick by the defense. He is slashed, and there'll be a penalty for that. Just fired it wide. Got to do more than that to score. Guelph's got a minor for slashing. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five on three power play, and it begins now. You're right, Doc. This is a big advantage here. A five on three on the power play is one you have to capitalize on. A solo rush. Owen Sounds got it in their own end, hoping for center. The drama heightens in this final minute of the second period. Score! The power play cashes in. won the neutral zone face-off. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Play is halted, and we have yet another penalty call. Guelph's got two minutes on their penalty total, and this one's for slashing. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. Every game presents a fork-in-the-road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five on three power play and it begins now this five on three power play has to be careful that they don't get lulled into a sense of security here and they move the puck around the outside and never challenge the penalty killers chooses the corner really good job by the defenseman there it's dumped in Guelph's on the move up the wing Puck lofted in. Shoots one. Got his glove on that one. Well, they got to be a little tired after these first two periods of play, so they'll get a rest as we start to think ahead toward period number three. Stay warm and stylish in the ring with our specially priced item tonight. Our game team start priced at just $10. Hurry into our main store. Owen Sound's players have got to celebrate here. Whether they'll get more celebrations like this one will be determined when we come back. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Guelph's performance has been stellar coming into the third. I would expect more of the same rather than trying to protect the lead against a desperate hockey team. Power play continues here into this period. Crosses that line. Oh, broke it up. Owen sounds in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. He's got it, but has to get rid of it. And he flies it back in. Brings a shot. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. A missed opportunity from this close in. Oh, that was close. When the puck sounds hard, when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. Scoring chances handed away.
The face off, the tie up, and a solid job from the winger there. Shot, great save at the edge of the crease. Pitching it to Samarukov. They must retreat and start back again. Banked right ahead. That's a pretty sharp play. Maybe he was a little bit of a pool player in his day. He banks this off the boards to his partner much safer than going across the front of the net. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Good face-off victory there. Fires a shot. Wonderful stop. That one's to him from his goaltender. Puck loose, couldn't get through. That move not too slick there. Nicely into the zone. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Guelph's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck. It took the legs out from the attacking player. It is a five on three for a brief time, but still a two man advantage and the face off will start it off. One of the biggest mistakes a five on three power play makes is they're looking for the perfect shot. The more you shoot it, the more you move the penalty killers around and you start to tire them out. Brings it in for an attack. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. Nice face-off work. Offside stops the clock. Won the face off. Laid on to Phillips. Shoots one. Got it in the slot. Oh, poke check saved one there. He can start some danger here. Let's it go. Miss just wide. That goaltender's breathing a little easier. Great chance from the slot. He just missed. Good shooting place. Outstanding point blank save. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. And he dumps it in. Owen sounds moving to center. The battle for the puck and he can't get free. He's got it in deep. Puck heads to the neutral zone. The attackers, of course, follow. Shot on goal. A wonderful shot answered quickly. Guelph's penalty has come to an end. Their PK has been strong. I really like the way they have... He's alone! Not on the net! You gotta make the goalie do something there. Get the puck on the net. Make him make a save. A backhand shot. Got to clear it. May not have intended it, but it hit him. Out in front. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. Intercepts that pass on the attack. Knocked off the puck. They just keep working away, don't they? Loose now picked up. Owen sounds looking to head man up the wing. Moves it to the corner. Drives it. Oh, big rebound here. Guelph starting back in their own end. Makes that play deep. Took that pass right up the wing. Shoots one. 
got it. You couldn't have chosen a better guy for that shot, or apparently a better guy to stop it. Feeds the point. Free puck off a defender there. Guelph's carrying it through the neutral zone. Twist one. Routine save, but a necessary one. This is frustrating. The goaltender makes a save by getting just a chunk of the shot. Face off is one. Stood up all the way and blocked it. Guelph's carrying it up the wing. From the outside. Great save. And he holds on and stops play. Good face-off win. Nicely off that bump. Didn't test him much there. Good save. That didn't go like he wanted. And a slashing penalty is forthcoming. Steps in from the neutral zone. Takes that pass. He lost it, but got it back. Play is stopped, and that well-worn track to both penalty boxes will be plowed through again. Guelph's minor penalty is for slashing. Oh, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Any time that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. There is hope with every man advantage, even if your percentage is poor. Are you listening? Well, Clean win on the draw. Picked up. Slid to Suzuki. They can't find the target. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. A whistle and a rest. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Owen sounds organizing things back in the defensive zone. And that pass really misfired, and so they must drop back. Leads that charge into the zone. Back to the point. Let's the shot fly. Good chance. Denied. What a power play these guys have. You give him the opportunity from this spot in the ice, that's the low slot area, he's gonna score. He looked like he was guessing a little bit there, Enzo, as he drops into the butterfly position, not enough of the net cover. Face-off win. Let's see what develops. Blue line control. A shot. Held there for a face-off coming up next. Good setup off the win. Goes high with a shot, but rang it off the post. Oh, what a terrific save in close. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Fires. Oh, and it's off the mark. Oh, that's more than your normal rub out. Oh, he delivered that hit with intent, Doc. Solid, solid hit into the board. In all alone. It's a penalty shot coming up. 
No hesitation at all, Doc, by the official to make the penalty shot call on the trip from behind on the attacking player on the breakaway. Let's see who prevails on this one. It is not a legal shot. His chance is canceled. You want to be in that situation to put the pressure on the other team, but he did not cash in. Defensive zone win. Owen Sounds controlling the play in their own end. Can start the attack going in the zone. Glides back behind his net. Guelph's got it and moving up the wing. Has that one measured in his own end. There is a slash on that play and it is going to be called. The parade to the penalty box means a parade of special teams from the benches. Owen Sound's got a two-minute minor for slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. You can just see the confidence when a team is lightning-like on the power play, and this one is. They get another chance beginning now. It's dropped. They lock up, and that's a good shot by the winner. Good position in the slot. Snapping a pass to Suzuki. It's dumped in. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Terrific stop, but it's loose. Welsh transporting it in center ice. Didn't get a thing of that. Takes a shot. Pad save. Ooh, hard one there. And he dumps it in. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Cut that pass in his own end. They can't be that sloppy with the puck, guys. Every time they get it, they have to make as sure a play as they possibly can. Shoots one. Handled with the stick. He gains the zone. Breakaway. Stands his ground on the breakaway. He banked it right ahead. Sometimes the best play is right in front of the net. He took a quick look, read the seam, and then bounced it off the boards to his partner so they can get out of the zone much more safely. Let's it go. He was standing in the lane and got some up. Ran into the defense. He's lost it. Owen Sounds carrying on up the wing. It's dumped in. Guelph's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Owen Sounds killed off the penalty. Back to full strength. Well, they escape without giving up a power play goal against this time. But it's been too often that they haven't been successful while they've been down a man. I don't know how much of this puck he stopped, guys, but it was just enough to keep it out of the net. He's done it again. That's another victory at the faceoff circle. That puck's loose, mishandled. Trying the probe up the wing. Let's it go. Wide. Wonderful chance. You can't score if you don't hit the net, Doc. Boy, stick to stick artistry there. He's got it and moves ahead. Let's it go. Missed. He zips that inches wide of the post. The goaltender would have no chance on that. In the third period. We are in the last minute. A shot. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Welfs continuing to probe up the wing. Shooting! Oh, what a save that was. Got it back. Puck covered, whistle blown. They took that draw and won it. That went off the path. And he dumps it in. Guelph's carrying it in their own end. Carries it on in from center. Ripped too high. 
Got it right back. Owen Sounds finding its way to center ice. He's got that one. Let's see what happens. That play goes offside. They've won the faceoff. The game is over. Guelph recorded another one in the books. The W's are now in clusters. With that win, Doc, they found themselves with a tidy streak intact. The wins just keep on coming. So that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good night all.